The girl's joining me today. Although I'm brushing off so much fur, I apologize if I start sneezing in the next few minutes. Uh, this week I would like to start by talking about a stunning Australian art house flick. It's called Sweet Country and it's directed by Warwick Thornton who did Samson and Delilah. And it's set in 1929 in the outback in the Northern Territories. It's a hard hitting, brutal and yet restrained film about colonisation, about the wiping out of a culture and also complete disregard for indigenous people. Needless to say, it is quite a social political statement. Now Sam Neill stars as Fred Smith. He's a middle-aged man and also a preacher. He works as a farmer as well. And he kindly lends his Aboriginal farm worker, Sam, to a neighbour to help him set up his place. However, his new neighbour turns out to be a very cruel man, messed up by the war. And Sam finds himself in the terrible position of having to defend himself. This is a truly memorable piece of filmmaking. Um, the cinematography is absolutely stunning, although I do wonder, considering the landscape, how it could not be. Um, but the other thing that really struck me about this film is that there is very little music. There's very little musical score or incidental music or sound involved at all, and it really makes you live this story. And the performances are fantastic. Sam Neill made me cry. So, Sweet Country screens on Saturday at 8.30pm. Hey, I don't know if you've noticed, but on Wednesday evenings, Rialto is playing a collection of classic films from the 1950s, showcasing 50s screen sirens we will never see the likes of again. And this week you can catch the iconic A Place in the Sun, starring Elizabeth Taylor and Montgomery Cliff and Shelley Winters. It's a tale of a tragic love triangle. It won six Academy Awards in 1952, including Best Director for George Stevens. And next week, Rialto Channel is playing Sunset Boulevard for all you glorious Swanson fans out there. And finally this week, if you're a fan of Randy Buckman, the musician, you know, from Buckman Turner Overdrive or The Guess Who, then you won't want to miss this documentary. It's simply titled Buckman. It screens on Friday evening at 8.30pm and it takes you through the ups and downs of one of Canada's most prolific and legendary artists. It's a relatively straightforward documentary. It's a lot of talking heads, but there's some fabulous archival footage and photographs and some rather honest chat about this man whose main drive in life is still music. Alrighty, I'm gonna go and clean the fur off me. <laughs> I'll see you next week.